Hi, it's John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and today is Saturday, the 15th of May, 2021. How you doing? So, <clears throat> stuff to talk about today. Um, first off, long week, a lot of uh, not sleeping and not feeling so hot, a lot of neuropathy problems with my feet keeping me up and just some general aggravation and pain. I had some nice talks with my friend Larry. That was a great talk. Thanks, Larry. And um, Loretta, who also, also thank you, dear. As, as well as other, you know, Daniela and uh, who else did I talk to this week? I talked to my friend Danny and Ari and people I'm sure I'm forgetting. So, and uh, Susan, of course, several times, many times. So, um, and I, I haven't been able to do any work this week. I uh, didn't sleep well and the pain I was in and some head pain sort of kept me away from work, but uh, that's okay. I have some writing that I have to do, you know, for prog sheet and I will get it done. It's just a little later. Um, oh, let's play a little show and tell. So, Friday, yesterday, I uh, got a big box. Like, oh, what's in this huge cube of a box? And it was this, which is a... Um, see that? It's a remaster and a deluxe edition of... Fleetwood Mac's 1980 album Fleetwood Mac Live and what this has is interesting it um, it's the album the double album on two um, heavy 180 gram vinyl vinyl and a 7 inch single with two unreleased demos and it also comes with three CDs that are one for each of the two albums and then a third CD of all previously unreleased these were never these 14 songs were never on the original double album so there you go quite a bit of music for me to uh, give a listen to looking forward to this especially since one of the uh, previously unreleased is this the green man Alishi with the three with the two prong crown my favorite Fleetwood Mac song oh boy but let's talk about something else for a minute it's the red shoes now I know a few people that I've talked about this movie with but this this is the criterion collection uh, multi-disc uh, beautiful restored version it's a, of the 1948 film uh, that um, it's just brilliance in so many ways I think it was Martin Scorsese who called this the greatest color film ever made and I don't know that I can argue with him uh, for those of you not familiar with it, you have the Hans Christian Andersen story of the red shoes, which if you don't know the story, the shoes are made and this ballet dancer puts them on and, and she dances like never before. But in the story, she can't stop dancing until the shoes are done and the shoes aren't done until she's dead. And then they take the shoes off her. And that's the story of uh, the Hans Christian Andersen story. So the film is about a ballet company that's going to do a ballet based on the Hans Christian Andersen story. And, and they put that together and it's beautifully done. Um, fantastically directed. I've never really seen a, another film that looks like this film in terms of how it's filmed particularly the the red shoes ballet sequence just something otherworldly um 
But what I, I find it's about is you have the lead ballerino played wonderfully by Moira, Moira Shearer. You have the producer and you have the composer. And really the film focuses on the three of them primarily and their obsessions with their art and how their art consumes their lives and in different ways consumes them uh, which I, I think is the the underlying not so underlying message there if you if you look at it it's right there in front of you of how art can consume your life art can become your life um, and I understand that you know as an artist myself where would I be without art? But I don't think it's ever gotten to the point where it has been destructive to my life. It's sometimes it takes a hold of you and you have to obey it. Um, but I think that's with so many things in life. But anyway, The Red Shoes, if you've not watched it, it's always worth your time. 1948, The Red Shoes. I don't know. I hope they never remade it. They shouldn't have. That would be quite a mistake. Beautiful piece of filmmaking by Michael Powell. And, um, you know, that's what I got to say about that. Uh, so I, I think that's going to do it for this week. I hope you're all doing well. Please let me know. As always, email me, call me, carrier pigeon. Anything is welcome. And uh, love you all. Be in touch. I hope you're having a wonderful time. See you next week. Bye-bye.